All right, now we're going to look at a geometric representation of vector addition and vector subtraction so we get an idea of what this looks like physically. Um, this is, so when we say geometric, that just means kind of like a graphical representation, um, but more on a generic plane, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, first let's look at addition. So if I have a geometric method for adding two vectors, um, it's going to be the sum of u plus v if I have some vector u and some vector v. So what's this going to look like? Well, we're going to position u and v so the terminal point of u extends from the initial point of v. The resultant vector u plus v extends from the initial point of u to the terminal point of v. So I'm going to draw my vectors. Here is my vector u. So here's the initial point. Here's the terminal point of u. And then here is going to be the vector v. So the initial point of v is at the terminal point of u. And then here is the terminal point of v. So then the resultant vector u plus v extends from the initial point of u to the terminal point of v. So this is the resultant vector u plus v. So that's the geometric representation. What you want to understand is that whenever we have two vectors connected head to tail, if I then connect the initial head with the uh, final tail, that will be a vector addition. Keep in mind, addition, just like with numbers, does not always have to be larger than its original components. All right, so now we're going to look at subtraction of two vectors. So if I have some vector v, so here is vector v, and here is vector u. Uh, this is vector negative u because we're also going to look at how the subtraction of two vectors v minus u is the same as the addition of v plus negative u, which should make sense because that's how numbers work also. Um, but first we're going to focus on the regular v and u. So in this case, if I have the initial side of v connected or touching the initial side of u, if I connect the heads, so if I draw this, this is going to be v minus u. So one thing with subtraction um, is the order in which you draw the vector matters uh, only because it changes the direction. So this is v minus u because I drew this so that the tail of this vector is at the tail of v and the initial side of this vector is at the initial side, or I'm sorry, is at the tail of u. So then how does this relate to v plus negative u? Well, if I move the negative u vector up here, because remember, vectors don't have a location, they just have a direction and a magnitude. And now if I draw this vector, this vector is also going to be, or this will be actually v plus negative u, which notice is the exact same vector as v minus u. So again, uh, vectors are directed line segments. We saw on this previous example a great uh, demonstration of the fact that I can just shift this vector around as long as I don't change the magnitude or direction of it. I can move it where I want conveniently to demonstrate geometrically the addition or subtraction that I need. When vectors are added geometrically, we need to connect them head to tail. When vectors are subtracted geometrically, they need to be connected head to head or tail to tail.